Hi everybody, EB here and welcome to today's video. Today's video is twofold, it's a bit of an update on my beautiful MX Linux. A <clears throat> bit of a catch up with you all, just to let you know how we're going. Uh, and secondly, it's discussing uh, Windows 12 and one of the main reasons, which is already clear and well known, why I've jumped permanently to Linux and dumped Windows. As far as MX Linux is concerned, it's been a flawless experience. You can see I've got a whole myriad of games installed here. All run beautifully, locally, um, using Steam and Proton. And I'm having a great, great time, both with Star Wars The Old Republic and with American Truck Simulator. Um, you know, I've got all the main Bethesda games. Um, so we've got... Uh, all the Fallout series, right up to and including four. We've got Morrowind, Oblivion and Skyrim from the Elder Scrolls series. And then we've got a selection of everything from Baldur's Gate to some other Star Wars games. And a bit of Valheim and Grid 2 as well. And everything is running absolutely beautiful, flawlessly. The updates come down on a regular basis. And they install, reboot the machine and there's never ever... A single hiccup or issue. Um, the operating system feels very polished. I would be happy to pay real money for this operating system because it's literally that good. It's not on its own, of course. There are many Linux operating systems which are mm, almost as good as MX Linux. I do believe that MX Linux is the cream of the crop, the best of the best, the top 1% of all desktop Linux operating systems for users of a whole spectrum of capabilities from clueless, feckless and absolutely fucking useless noob right up to seasoned shike hawk of a Linux user. MX Linux has you covered in all aspects. Of course, there's Arch Linux, there's stuff that Jim Acklaw is doing, there's stuff that Ghost is doing with his Myo Linux, etc, etc. And I'm sure all of those operating systems in their own rights are amazing uh, and will not let you down. <clears throat> However, I've already discussed the reasons why I've jumped to Linux from Windows and permanently dumped Windows. Um, mainly because of the included software that comes bundled with all Windows operating systems. However, as you know, Windows 12 is due for release at some stage in 2024. That is going to take it to a whole new level. Why are you saying that, EB? Because Windows 12 is going to be AI-powered, artificially intelligently powered, which means it's going to be gathering data as soon as you press the on button. <laughs> Forget opening a web browser and going online. It's going to be trawling your PC for every scrap of data, every screenshot, and it's going to do it artificially, intelligently. Best of luck running that shit. Me, I'll be on the MX Linux. <clears throat> One question I'd like to ask you, YouTube, the internet, and this is not just to... Um, the admirers of Linux operating systems. This is to Windows fanboys. This is also to your average, everyday, run-of-the-mill, ho-hum, fecking clueless user on Windows. Does an AI-powered Windows 12 scare you? Yes, no, don't give a fuck. Simple as that. Please post one of those three answers underneath the video and how you personally feel about kind of being shoehorned down the road to Windows 12, which will gather all your data, make Microsoft trillions of dollars, make you feck all other than incredibly exposed on the internet. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked English Bob video.